Welcome back, Tech Ball fans, to the city of Krakow for the World Series 2022. The second World Series of the year after Paris earlier on in 2022. We, of course, see the first introduction of VAR here in Europe. Yellow and red cards, lots of firsts here as we continue our live coverage with the women's singles final. And talking about firsts, well, one of the athletes competing in this final, this is the first ever singles event, and she's made it all the way through to the final. More on that coming up in just a couple of moments in time. The perfect venue here for today's matches. Three still to go. The women's singles final, that followed by the mixed doubles final. And then, of course, we will have the men's doubles final. That concluding the action here in Krakow. It has been a long day of tech ball action. Ten matches in total. We are building up now to the women's singles final. The crowd are in fine voice, gathered here to watch the stars of this sport. Future tech ball fans are plenty. And you can see here the road to the finals. Rafaela Fontes having to beat Anna Isjak in the semi finals. The world number one player after winning the world championships last year. Christina Arch as well will be alongside her in this final. But it is Rafaela Fontes, affectionately known as Rafinha, who is making her way out onto. The field of play first, shaking hands with the referee. It's actually the first time I've ever seen a Tim not competing alongside Natalia Gitler, so this will be interesting. Yeah, it will be, as you say. I mean, it's, it's new territory for both of them, really, this year. It's their first singles and uh, both getting it through all the way to the showpiece event. And I'll tell you something about uh, Fontesh. She was out there practicing. I've been for a walk around twice and she's been on the practice table non-stop right up until five minutes coming on to here. So dedicated and so determined to make it to the top level. Yeah, that's a very good point. She was warming up alongside Janacek. Okay, who we'll see in the next match in the mixed Welcome doubles gold medal match. final. You're the home team. Which colour do you choose? So just listening now to the coin toss Black, as uh, Christina white. Arch makes her way out. This is her white. What do you choose? Third event, ball. singles ball. ranking Which of side do you third choose? in the world. Will you Montez serve or receive? Unranked. Serve, yes. Okay. So good luck. You've got one, one minute warm up. This is really a bit of a surprise for Christina Arch. It has to be said making her way through not the most competitive field of women's singles it has to be said but these are the two that have made it through to the final you can see an absolutely packed house here in Krakow and it's really anyone's guess as to who wins this I would say Rafaela Fontes probably comes into this as the slight favourite given we know who she is more from her mixed doubles with and sorry her doubles career with Natalia Gitler a really loud figure. She's won 10 sets and not dropped a single one. Only 150 centimeters tall, one of the smallest players out there. Contrary to that, Art just lost a couple of sets. He's uh, a little bit taller, member of the Phoenix Tech Ball Academy in Budapest. Two youngsters, though, aren't they? 20 and 22 years of age. Christine Arch is uh, going to be 23 next month, so you'd, you'd think she's a little bit more experienced, maybe, but it's not so. Fontesh has built up such a lot of experience and must have learned so much playing alongside a legend such as Natalia Gita. 100%. And has Time. already played uh, here today in the women's doubles final. First so is familiar with the surroundings. First service. No one's won two though yet, have they? George Jack lost, didn't he, as well? So uh, whoever was won the first one and appeared the second time, they've ended up losing. So let's see if that happens again here with Fonte Shafinia. service. So. Fold. Second service. If you are new to tech ball, welcome. We'll go through and explain the rules as the match goes by. Myself, James Anadakis and Tim White bring you commentary of this match. Afinia out wide and heads it all clear. Afinia, by the way, is just as noisy on her own as she <laughs> is alongside Natalia Gitler by the looks of things. Third service. Can be an imposing figure either to be on the same side of the net or oh. opposite Gitler. Yeah, for someone, Second as, as, I'm sure she won't mind me saying this, as small as Hafinha, she certainly makes up for it in energy and in noise. She was even out. quite animated out on the red. practice table. Doesn't surprise me. What a competitor. First Still so three. young, 20 years of age, wearing the 
Fold. Flamengo shirt, and you can see it's a bit big for a second set. Second hide up, up in the it? back. Yeah. Chest the ball back into play. This is the women's final. Money at stake here. Out. Point the winners team blue. do get Change of $1,875. Their club gets $1,500. National Federation gets First $375. Dollars at stake in this competition. Point to team Rafaela red. is from the Time Tech Ball Club in Rio. Hotbed of Tech Ball Rio. First service. Based in Cop near Copacabana Beach. It's a good way of life out there, I can tell you that for sure. So Arch at the back of the court, keeping that alive. Finia. Out. Point to team red. A little bit of confidence in these early stages. The first time I went to Rio, actually, I was amazed to see that all the football clubs, that we mentioned them earlier in the broadcast, all have times allotted and spaces allotted on Copacabana to actually train, Perfect. and they do actually train quite often the academy, but sometimes you see the first teamers there as well. Well, football clubs in Brazil Point to team red. Not the same as they are in other parts of the world. They don't have set destinations, set clubs necessarily, where they play all their home fixtures. A lot of the matches happening at Copacabana. Training, should I say, a couple of cabana matches at Maracana. One of these athletes from Brazil that is doing Cycle. very well. Point to team is blue. Rafinha, Rafaela Fontes. And Arch is struggling service, a little bit serve. in these early stages. Yeah, she needs that point. Big difference. Two difference or four uh, difference. Service. Two behind with serves now. Needs to get a 3-1 really. If she loses Second these four service. three one, she will be in big trouble. Finger out wide. Plays the ball back to the middle of the table. Arch drops it short. Point to Finger team tries blue. to just nip it straight back. But, well, we criticised Arch in his early stages, but you can certainly nothing says I'm in the middle of a city better than First service. the sounds of sirens in the distance. <laughs> Finger sets herself up. Out. Point to team blue. Net to find the table and makes the mistake. Needs to keep her focus here, uh, Jafinha. She started Fire the match off fairly well, but has just lost concentration. Fault. A few unforced errors coming in. Fault coming in there from Arch. Second service. It's only Arch's third event. It was fifth in the Budapest Women Challenger Cup in 2020. 19th in the Eager Beach Challenger in 2020. This is Rafaela Fuentes' first ever singles event. And she's already through to a final. Table. Arch just plays it back. Oh, Fontes is in trouble here. Repeated return. Oh, it's unlucky. It was a repeat return because it was obviously the foot, but she did well to find and the she table. Did. That was unlucky. It was a great skill that went unrewarded. Third service. She looks so focused every point there, doesn't she? Fold. Second service. Not quite as vocal as she is when she plays alongside Natalia Gitler. She really hypes up Gitler. Those table two are great points. Point to the team table blue. Slutch there from. Finia, Change of service, team red to serve. Well, Fontes is a uh, star scene to uh, fall behind a little bit here. Out wide, drop short. Fontes chests it back into play. Arch now to the back of the table. Pontes with a smash, Point to team blue. slipped over her foot. Another mistake from Cafinha. We're not seeing the best of her at this part of the match, that's for sure. Needs to get her head back in the game a little bit. So unlike with doubles. Oh, brilliant. That's better from Cafinha. Finds the space, finds the gap. Well, it would be some victory if Arch manages to pull this off, and she's still leading here. In the group stage, she lost 40 Third points, service. which is almost unheard of for someone to win a group. Point to Team Red. Did actually lose a set against Nora Vicek, but came through, squeezed through 2-1. She lost uh, two sets over the course of the competition, Third didn't service. she, on the way to this final, whereas Afinia hasn't lost a set yet, so and you would back against her to turn this set around. It's a clever play that from Arch. Finger chest set up back to the middle of the court. We've had 
Some fairly short rallies thus far, but Hafinha just ball. finds the edge of the table. Yeah, um, Hafinha also was in the group of four, so she had three group games, and she still lost far Third fewer points service. than Arch in the group stage. On paper, Hafinha is the stronger player in this competition, but paper wins nothing. Oh, that's unlucky oh, from Arch there, and red. Hafinha. No, it didn't quite make contact. Change of no, and that, that's a good tactic, serve. I think, because when you're playing someone like uh, Hafinha who moves around and, and exploits the angles, if you can get the first touch first back, which you're allowed to do in singles, it can catch your opponent out, out of position. Second service. Hatch being a little conservative here. Again, the first time ball back. Out. Point to Team Blue. Larch is doing everything she could do. I don't know whether her tactics discussing with her team were just to be conservative and try yeah. and force errors from her opponent. But Absolutely. That, that seems to be what she's been doing in these earlier stages, just playing a fairly Out. calm, collective and consistent approach to the match. Not using too much power, not smashing the ball too hard, trying to force Afinha into mistakes. And so far it's working. Fenia needs to slow it down a little bit. Close to the halfway line on the previous attempted attack. Fenia out wide, chance down with a smash. Arch is there. She has it back into play. Great rally this between the Brazilian and the Hungarian. A little bit of trouble here for Arch. She manages to get it back into play. Fault, Fault illegal attack. Illegal attack. To team blue. And it's... <laughs> well, I, I'm glad that wasn't a legal attack because I thought there were two previous very close calls and in the end she did just catch the referee's eye and conceded the point. So Arch now just a couple of points away from taking his first set. It really would be a surprise here. First service. Was pretty close, wasn't it, to be fair to Fenia. Fault. been worth a challenge, that one. Second get service. that challenge done too early on in the match, do you? So Fenia out wide now. Struggling to really impose herself on this match. Arch with the smash and triple set point goes the way of Arch. And fair fair play to the up and coming Hungarian start. First service. She's been the better player. Way more consistent. Fold. Yeah, she's not been spectacular, but Second she's service. eliminated the mistakes. Here we go then, set point. Finger out wide. Oh, and Arch. Clever there, gets it back in. Hafinia with a bit of trouble here. Oh, and it's into the net one red. set point saved. Again, utilising that early serve. return, isn't she? I don't know whether she's been watching Fontes or thinking, well, she won't have much experience at this level, so let's try and rush it. But it is working well. First well, service. Hafinia saved one. She's got another two more to go. You can see a big string of points in the middle there from Arch. Oh, side ball. that was a Point side ball. Blue, and that is it. The first set One going the way of Christina Arch. Well, Makino, experienced player, is going to have to utter some words of reassurance here to Rafinha. Rafinha, I think she looks a little bit lost out there. Not used to playing singles, especially not on the big stage. Yeah, you've got more time in doubles if you, if you are one of those players who goes around the table and makes the most of the angles. If suddenly someone's putting it back straight after one touch in doubles, there's a minimum of two touches because both players have to play it. It makes a world of difference. And I think this is really good tactics from Arch. She's not made very many mistakes. She's not been uh, incredibly attacking. She's not really caught the eye, but she's just gone about her business in a very work woman-like, can we say, way. 15 seconds left of the break. One minute between sets and uh, words of encouragement from her doubles partner and uh, from Marquinhos as well over in the corner as we look at the stats for the first well, set. Look at that. She's not missed a single first serve and she's won 86% of her first serves. Uh, we're missing the statistics on second serves, but that's obviously an issue. But, I mean, look. But no winners from Arch. No. But she's just making life difficult. Nice. And, and she is, and, and Hafinha needs to Second dig a little bit deeper here, you feel, and maybe mix things up a bit because it's, it, it's not working for her. I think Marquinhos service. offers some words of wisdom. Let's we'll see what happens in the second oh. set. I think there were five or six times in that first set where 
The Hungarian Second played third. just the one touch return, and I think she won all but one of those points when she did so. Oh, well. oh the boots on the other foot. Yeah, brilliant. Gets herself forward, drifts into the middle of the table, just clips the ball, cuts it short with a harvester. And look, you just see that technique. It's great work. It wasn't even a harvester. She's just right. somehow dropped the ball into the middle of the table. Fast Absolute turns. delicate touch there. Almost like a stop volley. Yeah. Fold. Second service. Here we go then. Back underway. Yeah. That's Out. long. Point to team red. Well, Finney started the first set well. Yeah, I think Arch needs to not get ahead of herself first here, not service. try to be uh, too attacking and take too many risks. Illegal, illegal attack. Illegal Point attack. To team That's blue. another mistake there from Finney. Both players still have their challenges available to them. We've seen no yellow or red cards throughout this competition either, which is good to see. Yeah, very much so. Don't want that controversy. Uh, did you mention that there was an elimination in Naples? Uh, yeah, there was in Naples, yeah. The Serbs got a little bit too passionate, shall we say. Point to Team Blue. Happens to the best of athletes, getting caught up in the moment. But like we saw in the previous set, Arch coming back after the first two points going the way of Rafinha. First service. False. Second service. So Arch again, just making sure she does the basics of the game back, getting it out. Point to team back blue. Back without too much struggle, and you can see gifts being given out to the crowd. Third service. They will go away from this experience of tech ball. Telling their friends and their family, as Finia does really well to recover from that position. And I tell Point you what, Arch Blue. is really asking a lot of questions of Finia here in this, fin in this final. And it's a surprise final for many. It's, I mean, what's going to be quite interesting is how Christina Arch Third shoots service. up the rankings from 73rd. If she wins this, she'll get loads of ranking points. Fault. Well, they both were, weren't they? They're both undefeated this Second year. Service. We're playing their first tournaments of the year, as you said, in uh, Fontes Hafinia's case, her first in her career singles. Yeah. But based on this competition... Oh, that's brilliant from Hafinia. Oh, oh, superb. Saves the point. Point to Team Blue. I think it was... Was it repeat? Repeat. Touch, I think. The point's gone against her. She's Five got to VAR. She's not happy for with that. Repeated return for Team Red. Well, it was judged an illegal return. It's hard to remember what the previous touch was, isn't it, in the heat of battle? We'll find out so in a second. It was... Well, that, I mean, that, that, that doesn't tell us, does it? No. Need to rewind further. Yeah. We need to go to the previous shot to see if she returned it with the foot. Well, there was no over the halfway and there's no edge ball. It's about how she returned it. Just a reminder, if you challenge are just joining us. completed, no repeated return. Repeat the rally. Okay, so a good challenge. No repeated return, as you were, because it was an edge ball, so no points would have been won or lost anyway. Finia using, i tell you what, we've seen VAR used quite appropriately here, haven't we? Yeah, we have, and it's a good addition. So difficult, technically, for everyone. 25 players entered the singles event in this World Series tournament in Krakow and we're ready to resume. First service. So Arch gets us back underway. Great surf on the back of the table. Rafinha juggles the ball up and gets it back. Arch is straight out, out wide. Team red. Forced into being a bit more aggressive there, making the unforced error. Rafinha's hanging on here. First service. But if she can grow into this match, she can certainly turn things around quite quickly. Another great serve from Arch. Point and it's to just team too blue. strong for Rafinha. Change of service, Team Red to serve. She's generally so. been serving well, and uh, if Third she can service. nick a 3-1 on these four serves, she'll be in pole position to yep. win the title. Oh, that's brilliant from her Point to team red. Really, really good stuff. Working her way out wide, the smash coming up. Challenge for illegal attack. Yeah, I, I wondered how near blue. it was. I didn't manage, I was watching live and not watching the screen. So let's have a look how close she got to the net and the halfway line. Might be close. 
This is the only challenge she gets. If it's wrong, it does look like it's. Well, this does look like it's over. It's because difficult because her foot's ball. behind the ball. Well, isn't it? yeah. I think. Oof, when does the contact first get made? Not there. Not there. There. She might have got away with this, you know. It, I'd rather. Challenge is completed. Oh. Illegal attack. It is illegal attack. Oh, oh, okay. So it's been overturned. So think, it was an illegal attack, which yeah, has I been given away the, the, of Christina Arch. So I think there you go. In the truck, they got the the other view as well, quicker than we Sorry. got it on the big screen here and on your screens. So First interesting service. stuff. That is uh, not what Finia would have wanted. Looked like it was going to go her way, but instead she's lost the point. Oh, and look at that, there we go. Red. We see the passion for the first time this set. The eruption, the scream from Hafinha. Brave challenge first by Arch, service. by the way, and rewarded as well. Needed that point, didn't she? Yeah, it was a good challenge by Arch. So play back in. Are we going to see a little bit of a run here from Hafinha? She seems to have found her feet a little bit out wide there. And point once again, red. big screen. She's pumped herself up. The endorphins flooding, the adrenaline flowing. I tell you what, James, she's pumping the crowd up now and they're feeling like we might get that third set that I think we've all been craving in one of the finals. First service. Seeing Natalia Gittler in the back of the shot, her teammate from doubles, already a champion here at the World Series, looking to make it two. Oh, it's Out. long. Point that was a good blue. opportunity there Should for Hafinha to Change level the time. And it's now the change of ends, and we're going to have that tricky arch serve. First service. It gets all four here, and she sets up a very, very strong position. The thing is ready, sends it out wide. Arch is ready to return the smash from her. Oh, who gets her feet up in a bit of a muddle. But one thing I will say is she keeps her head held high, Hafinia. She's not beating herself up. She, tactically, she's got this just right. We're not going to have another look at that replay, but playing it short against a very short woman. Oh, that's well played from her feet. Yeah. Put that, the pressure on. that was close to being an illegal attack as well. It was borderline, but she still does have that challenge, having succeeded with a previous one, but doesn't First go for it there. She lives and breathes every point, Hafinia. Out. Second you get the feeling that the momentum's moving, then you look at the score, and she's still two behind. Yeah. Oh. oh, she's kept it going. Hafinha's yeah. shaking her head. She's not happy about something there. Oh, and somehow Arch has dug deep there. Managed to keep the rally going. Hafinha's shaking her head midway through the point, and she's Arch appealed. has won it. She's appealed. If she's got an appeal left, has she got an appeal left? But I don't think it was just luck. I she think has. she was so unfortunate there. The ref's shaking his head. Hafinha. No, no, you've got no challenge remaining. Well, we'll see the replay. No, we won't. Well, there was nothing. I would like to have seen it anyway. I, I don't think there was an error. It was just when it hit the the player twice, but it was just two touches, and she got but it back it on the, the third. Was it with the same body part though? Was it with was it both times with the leg? Was it knee and a leg? Maybe she got lucky with it. Anyway, regardless to that, my history would record the score as nine six, and it makes no difference now going forward. Hafinia has to recover Out. from that. First serve is long. Second. We service. still have two serves to come. Table touch, point oh, of view. It's all Hifinia. going wrong oh, it for really Hafinia. Change of service, team red. Well, we said if she gets a 3 1, she's on the verge of victory. Red. And they've called a timeout yeah, because she is you, on uh, the verge of what, defeat. Natalia Gitler, you can see, is storming down. She needs to have a word with Hafinia. I mean, is it going to be too little, too late? She's telling her to calm it down. There's a lot of unforced errors. Something she'll be familiar with having played with her so often. But Marquinhos there, they're, they're, they're both at either side. It's almost reassurance here, isn't it? But it's a pincer movement. <laughs> I would like <laughs> to be a at this moment. Oh, I'd love to hear what they're saying to her. I mean, she looks upset, doesn't she? Well, it's, she would do. I mean, it, you, you don't want to lose any final, do you? Let, let's give Arch the credit that she, she right. deserves. She's barely chatting to her coach. She's like, let's get this done. I want to be champion. She lost uh, a set to Boglaka Nudge, but we saw how well she played uh, earlier, did really well when yeah. we saw her in doubles action. And so, uh, uh, some would say even a surprise win there against Nudge to get to the final. Well, I think they're probably saying to Venya, look, go out there, give it your best. We know what you're capable of. You've I mean, got a few more points left. Who knows? Give it your best and, and see what can happen in these final stages. You, you have to say, it's 10-6, but two of those points she was so unfortunate with. Had they gone her way, it'd be eight all. Yeah. It's very true. Fine, Fast fine service. margins. Here we go then. It's nearly match point. Hafinha just finds the back of the table. Arch now 
brings it back on. It's not been a very powerful match. This, it has to be said. It's been all about precision. Fenia drags it out wide. Chance now for the smash. Oh, it's clever. Oh, oh that's Time brilliant from Arch. Low. It's just so clever. So quick on the return. Just using one strike of the foot to Mid get it five. back. And that sets up five match points, Tim. And I think this is pretty much done and dusted now. You would think so. As you said, it's all about the delicate, the tactics. Fenia's serve comes in. Arch just finds the middle of the table. Fenia out wide. mistake now would be Time costly. She manages to save one of the match points with a rare smash. Nafinha is pumping herself up. First it's going to take a lot, though. One saved, four still to go. In comes the serve. Arch out wide, plays it to the back of the table. Nafinha goes out to the right and dinks it back to the middle. And Arch Point is forced into making a mistake. She believes. You she can does. tell. The body language is there. It's good. Stranger things have happened. One more serve to come. Needs, well, I mean, saying needs to win this point is kind of obvious, isn't it? At match point, in comes the serve. It's a good serve as well. Arch plays it back in. Afinia gets herself up wide, she's going to put some power on this, it hits oh, the net and it goes wide, and there it is. Christina Arch Blue. has done it. She is the Tech Ball World Series champion here in Krakow, beating Rafaela Fontes in straight sets, 12-9, 12-8. And a bit of an underdog going into this final, but comes out victorious, accepts the odds here, and a worthy champion. Absolutely. It was about the tactics. Her gameplay was absolutely brilliant. She doesn't have the power, but she has the tactical now. So at such a young age, this young woman could go a long way for a long time in this sport. If she's winning World Series events at this stage in her career, yes, it's not the strongest field, but it is still a real recognition of a job well done, particularly those little stabs back with the first touch that caught out Fontes today and will catch out plenty more people in future. Yeah, Fontes was caught out there. That's, uh, that's why she did pretty well. Winners wise, she did okay. Unforced errors were not great. And that is where, when she reflects back on this match, she'll probably look to improve. In terms of a singles player, in terms of a doubles player, she's already a champion. And she can't be too harsh on herself. And we said it beforehand, Tim, the curse of already having won. No one has managed to win one title and then win a second at the second time of asking. Absolutely, and we still have uh, two more showpiece events to come. The mixed doubles final, the men's doubles final. And Chaba Banyak just uh, coming uh, up alongside us. They're uh, getting ready to come on board pretty soon. Here on the showpiece arena in Krakow at the Little Market. Beautiful, impromptu stadium arena erected here. And a full house as we near the end of finals day in this beautiful historic city. That's one of the things that always uh, impresses me about these pop-up venues is how they, they build a stadium, they build a venue, they put the DJs in, put the cameras in, put the advertising boards in, in the space of, you know, a couple of days. It's very much a, a pop-up sport, this, when you think it's traveling around the world. There's, there's